What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder at Pitcherless, and today we're going to talk about Mr. Tight Pants himself, Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray has been absurdly good uh, striking out double-digit batters constantly. He went against the Red Sox yesterday. He did allow three earned runs, but he dominated with in the strikeout department. And here's the thing. What he's been doing now is he's been throwing fastballs over the heart of the plate and a little bit up in the upper third of the zone constantly. Instead of before where he was nibbling around trying to throw the perfect pitches all the time, Robbie Ray developed a skill earlier this season where he was able to throw the heart of the plate around the top upper third constantly. He did that for a couple starts, and then he started developing his secondary pitches on top of it with his slider and curveball coming down in the bottom. It's what I call the Blake Snell blueprint. When Blake Snell was dominating in 2018, it was fastballs up and secondary stuff down. Um, Robbie Ray is doing it to a T, and we're going to watch him dominate the Red Sox here in this third inning. So, first pitch here. He's going to attack with that upper third fastball at 94 miles per hour to Kevin Ploiecki. And there you go. You get one of those whiffs. And, yes, there's a lot of grunting <laughs> from uh, from Robbie Ray, which is, of course, always entertaining. So, as he goes with the fastball up like that, got to imagine he's just going to go up and do it again as Kevin Ploiecki couldn't handle it. And that's I'm inside. That's not actually where he's intending to do it. I think he got pretty lucky uh, getting a swing there. Uh, that is at 96. And I do like the fact that Robbie Ray, without any intent, just went from up and away to up and inside. Uh, normally, this is a ball and taken. But the fact that also, if you look at Robbie Ray, look at his arm angle. He was releasing it all the way over here. This is traveling all the way across the plate. It can be very hard uh, for a right-hander to know that this isn't going to be a strike in time. It's just he's trying to figure out the angle going towards the plate. Not easy to do. So now that you've seen Kevin Ploiecki swing and miss twice on this fastball, what do you think Ray's going to do? He's going to do another one. Absolutely. And there's 94. This is incredibly hittable. This is not a good 0-2 pitch. It just isn't. This is right in the middle of the plate. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this shows you how good Robbie Ray's fastball is, right? How there are often times when pitchers give you an indication of how their stuff performs. We like to say location, eye test, all that kind of stuff, movement. But in the end, the hitters will tell you how good a pitch is. Seeing 94 down the middle, 0-2, when Kevin Plucky is pretty much in defense mode and ready for exactly this pitch, Still swings through it. Sure, it's Plawecki. Sure, he already whiffed twice on fastballs. But that tells you how good the heater is. So, we know, it's more of the same against Danny Santana. And literally, we've seen four fastballs and all whiffs. Man, the Red Sox know what's coming. It's a four-seamer in the upper third of the zone, and they just can't hit it. And this is a really nice one. This is right at the top of the zone. Yeah, you generally want to see uh, in middle and inside in that half of the zone and not over here. Theoretically, you can push it to right field. That's what the Phillies did against James and Tyone, for example, over the weekend. But it's too good of a fastball right now. They're, they can't see it. They can't hit it. He's going to do it again. Oh, my God. That's so, that's so good. 97 along the inside edge. I uh, painted... If you can throw this every single time, you will throw a no-hitter. If you can do exactly that pitch. And now he gets the 0-2, finally not getting a swing. Oh, my. So now so now you can do a couple fun things. You could you can throw a slider down that would absolutely demolish Danny Santana. Uh, you can throw a fastball up and see if Danny Santana will swing through that one. It doesn't really matter. I think either one would result in a strikeout. There it is. Perfect. Absolutely Perfect. 90 mile per hour slider that is just so unbelievably hard to take. You don't know if this is going to be a strike, even if you think this is a slider. Danny Santana does not think it's a slider. He thinks this is going to be a fastball that is going to land inside corner just like the last one did. And you can see this is this is staying on the plane of a, inside the zone for very long until it just doesn't. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That's that's so unbelievably gorgeous. Ah, oh, I mean, <laughs> so that's six pitches. He's so close to an immaculate inning right now. Oh my god! I mean, along that, it's five out of six of those pitches were whiffs. Robbie Ray, you are so good. It's gonna be more of a fastball up here. Oh, actually, look at that. So I believe that is the curveball, 83 first pitch curveball. And traditionally, you do see a uh, you know third bat of the inning. We've talked about this before. Um, with dominance, you see them be patient anyway for a first pitch strike. 
But there's no way that, that Enrique Hernandez is looking for a curve. He's thinking more of a fastball up. This pitch starts way out of the zone. I mean, this is this is coming as if it's like here. And then it comes down uh, probably even higher than that because the camera angle is a little bit up. Uh, and that's great. That works. Sure. Uh, now you can probably throw a fastball up and get away with that. And he, he, man, he hits the glove on this. Look at this. The glove is <clears throat> glove is right right here. I'm gonna put the cursor right there. Let's see where this ball lands. <laughs> now I will say this is lower than you want. Um, if this is higher up, I don't think that Enrique Hernandez actually makes contact with it. Um, and he gave him a, a good ride here, just below the the uh, the warning track. But there it is. That's that's how Robbie Ray gets his outs. It's it's four seamers up a ton and he's doing so much better remember that one start against the yankees that was four seamers down a lot it was actually more erratic it was it wasn't consistently up in the zone but when he does throw it up in the zone batters just can't handle it as much you know that's 96 and that's a good ride from enrique hernandez but that's still an out and he has that slider that slider to uh uh that, that slider to danny santana was just absolutely picture perfect and that's how he does it it's just four seamers up Sliders down, curveball for strikes. Man, that's an ace. It, it, it's just glorious. Uh, and Robbie Ray, I mean, yes, he did allow three earned runs yesterday. I understand this. And if you sit for that four seamer, sometimes you get burned on that. But there's a mix to be had here. There's a there's a balance. Robbie Ray's figuring it out, and I think this is going to continue moving forward. Well, that's it for today's pitcher video breakdown. As always, you can watch this live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pitcherless. I'm live from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning Eastern time. So definitely come on by, ask all the questions that you have. That's going to do it for today. So as always, may your babas be low and your strikeouts high.